Hi, this is the second part of the uh, tutorial on dimension analysis. Now, what I wanted to show you is these couple letters, alphabets, that many of you could have seen from your textbook or from your blackboard, whiteboard in the classroom. And before I go into the detail about these letters, I want to ask you a question. In the next five seconds, I want you to think about what comes into your mind immediately. Okay? Five, four, three, two, one, time's up. Now, I would not be able to listen to what you think about, but let me tell you my story of what I hear from my students, what I have heard from my students. So, when I put these letters on the board in my classroom, I ask my students what do they think about these letters. And right off the back, they gave me the answer. King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Now, it depends on what regions of the country or what regions of the world, you have different ways to get these all memorized. Now, these letters are mostly stick with the, uh, we learned these letters in, uh, with the dimension analysis. And some students learned this as early as middle school. Now, one thing that I'm very concerned about this, these letters is that the first impression that comes into your mind is nothing about mathematics. Yet, these are all about mathematics. And one of the common methods that I have heard about teachers teaching, uh, teaching the, these dimension analysis or changing unit is that, okay, so let's say you have the word kilometers and then you would like to change it to centimeters. So what would you do? So you go from here and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you move the decimal place six places to the right. I don't even know if this is correct or not. Some students rely on this method and some teachers rely on this method as well. They believe that this is a very simple method. They just have to know which way do they move the decimal point. But the saddest thing about this method is that where is the mathematics? I don't see any mathematics in this method. I only see memorization. I only see algorithm. I only see there is a, a abandonment of the pure mathematics, the fun of mathematics. And this is the saddest thing. And this is something that we have to be careful when we learn dimension analysis or when we learn about these letters. Now, when I think about these letters, I don't want to think about King Henry. He has no relationship to me. What I would like to think is this. They are values. They are... They are representation of these numbers and what is more interesting is that when people talk about this when people compare these two uh, terms I would say and they would say they are both units well it is not quite correct meter yes is a unit but the term K is not a unit and people will argue would argue that, well, K, why not? It's a unit. Kilometers, it is a unit. So I'm going to use an example to, uh, to argue with the word K. So let's say you want to buy a house, or let's say you want to talk about salary um, of your parents. So let's say, you're, uh, let's say, let's say a house, okay? It would be more objective. Uh, let's say a house worth $100,000, okay? And the house worth a hundred thousand dollars, but out there in the reality, people may not talk about the word a hundred thousand dollar. People would talk about would use this instead. Now, let me cover this part and look at this line. What's the unit? The unit would be the dollar sign. Okay, nothing else. 
and you look at here, what's the unit? You could do the same thing, dollar sign. What about this K? This K is representing the 1,000. So K is a number. K is representing this number, 10 to the third power, which is 1,000. So we have to be very clear that these words, these letters, they are not representing King Henry whatever or chocolate milk. They are representing some unique numbers. And in order to do well with dimension analysis or unit conversion, whatever you want to call it, regarding to these letters, you have to first acknowledge that these are numbers. Okay? So I want you to take a moment to understand, to take a moment to memorize that these are numbers, and we can move on a little bit. And let me, at the same time, I'm going to uh, erase the board, and I'm going to give you an example. And I want to point out one major problem that people would see. Now, the major problem that I have seen in the past is that uh, if I say one, uh, one meter, okay, and then I ask you, well, how many millimeters in one meter? And people would freak out, literally. They were like, what? Uh, is it like a uh, uh, hundred, ten, a thousand? I don't know. Okay, people would give me responses like this. And I don't think it is really, really a difficult problem. Well, you may think that, well, of course, you're a teacher. Of course, you don't think, think, you don't think stuff are difficult. But I want to show you a very simple way that can tackle this type of problem if you follow my instruction previously that understanding those K H whatever K H uh, K H D U D C M those letters those alphabets they are numbers if you acknowledge that they are numbers then we can talk about this in a very simple way now before we before we move on there's one more thing I want you to acknowledge as well. This is something that you have used it for so many years and tragically, some people just don't know what they're writing. And this is called the equal sign. Now we have the habit of writing the equal sign, but how many of, how many of the students are really understanding what they're writing? Okay, so let me ask you one question. What is the meaning of an equal sign? Okay, what's the meaning? So, um, since we don't have time and I cannot interact with you, I'm going to tell you the answer that when we, when we do an equal sign, we are saying that whatever the value on the left is the same as whatever the value on the right. Then it should be equal. This is what we mean by equal sign. Okay, so whatever we have on the left should be equal to the right. Whatever we have, so we have one meter on the left, then whatever millimeters we have, they should have the same value as the one meter. Good. Okay, so let's move on. So, one meter. Okay, they're equal. Now, remember I talked about this M that was way to the right, okay, um, and, and we said that this is equivalent to 10 to the negative 3. So I'm going to replace this m with 10 to the negative 3, and I'm going to use parentheses to let you see how it is translated from letters to number. Okay? And since meter is a unit, I'm going to keep that. And uh, I still don't know what to write down here. Okay? I just have no idea. Okay? Yet. So, again, things are equal, left and right. So let's see what is equal for now. Can you see meters on both left and right? So they are equal already. So we don't have to worry about the meters. Okay? So we can put our focus onto the numbers. Okay? On the left, we have this number 1. Okay? We have this number 1. On the right, we have a question mark. We don't know what to put in here. And 10 to the negative 3. Now for some people, uh, you may not feel comfortable with 10 to the negative 3 because you may not learn about negative exponents yet. So let me make it simpler. 1 over 1,000. This is, this is what 
10 to the negative 3 literally means, okay, 1 over 1,000. So, we got the meter centered down, we have the number 1 right here, and remember that both left and right, they have to equal to each other. That means this whole thing, this whole thing, the question mark times, since we don't have any sign here, is an implicit multiplication. The whatever number here times 1 over 1,000 should equal to 1. Okay? So that becomes a very, very simple algebra question, problem. What times 1 over 1,000 is equal to 1? Think about this. What times 1 over 1,000 is equal to 1? And you will realize that 1,000 times 1 over 1,000 is equal to 1. And the reason is very, very simple. They cancel out. What is left is 1. And so, we now know that 1 meter is equal to 1,000 millimeter because they have to equal to each other. So, I want you to see that, that you can make use of something you learned in the past. Okay? Just have to understand that milli stands for 10 to the negative 3 or 1 over 1,000. And then you can figure out what this number is. And you know this already. Okay? You know this, is, you know this already. And I'm, I'm helping you to make use of what you have learned so that you know what's going on. So I hope that this really helps you out on figuring out what numbers to put in here. And if you think about centimeter, kilometer, we have, it is basically the same thing. Very simple, okay? Now, in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about sometimes we have to deal with questions like something squared, and that usually throw people off. And I, let me tell you this, this is no more difficult than this one, okay? So I hope you would stay with me and uh, to learn more about dimensional analysis.